An angle is something that we use throughout geometry. We talk about it all the way to the very end when we're talking about trigonometry. Well, an angle is formed by two rays that share a common endpoint. It's measured in degrees and it's between 0 and 180 degrees. If it's over 180, then you're going to subtract that number. So let's say you had 220 degrees, you're going to subtract 180 from that, so it's actually a 40 degree angle. If we look at an example where we have angle A, B, C, there's two ways that you could label this. You could write this as angle A, B, C, or since there are no other adjacent angles, that is, an adjacent angle would be something like this, where it would share that vertex, that common endpoint. Since there are no other adjacent angles, you could also just label this based on the vertex, which is B. Now there's something very specific about the way that I wrote angle ABC. Whenever you write the angle, its vertex must be the middle letter. But what is the vertex? The vertex is this point that is the common endpoint of your rays. So I'm going to label this as the vertex. So the rays form what are called the sides. So BC, ray BC, is one side of this angle, and ray BA is another side. So again, you can label an angle two different ways. One, using three letters that make up the two sides and the vertex, making sure that your vertex is the middle letter. Or if there aren't any other adjacent angles, you can just label it based on its vertex. There are four key types of angles. First one is acute. So if I drew this angle, and I said that it's angle X. If it is acute, that means that it is less than 90 degrees, but also greater than zero degrees. So it has to be somewhere in between them. It cannot be exactly 90 degrees. It cannot be exactly zero degrees. A right angle, if this is X, is equal to exactly 90 degrees, a right angle. So we're going to label all of our right angles in geometry using these two segments, which will tell you, the student, that this is a 90 degree angle. The third type is an obtuse angle. So here, if we measured x, x is going to be less than 180 degrees, but more than 90 degrees. Because if this angle is equal to exactly 90 degrees, it would be a right angle. If it was less than 90, it would be acute. The last one, which is key to a lot of proofs, is a straight angle. If you have a straight angle, it is equal to exactly 180 degrees which means if we had the rotation about point X that was full, the full rotation around any given point is 360 degrees. So 2X would equal 360 degrees. So keep these in mind and remember, obtuse is going to be in between 180 and 90, right is going to be exactly 90, acute is going to be between 90 and zero, and that there are two different ways of labeling your angles. And the way that will always work is using three letters.